<laughs> Let me repeat, I like bacon. Now let's look at graphing <laughs> f of x equals 2 to the x. Again, like we always do, let's make a t-table of values. Now, you already have this graph because I gave you that. There you go. You guys have folders that you can use and keep up with things. I'm going to tell you the key points that you plug in here. These are the key points. Negative 1, 0, and 1. These are the keys. If I plug in negative 1, you would get 2 to the negative first. But remember, what do we do with the negative exponents? How do we treat those guys? I guess you didn't remember. That's 1 over 2. Negative exponents will make you do the reciprocal. If I plug in 0, I get 2 to the 0. What happens when I raise something to the 0 power? So we're saying that the exponent is a variable? Yeah. Okay. The base is going to stay the same. I'm just changing the exponent. So if I plug in negative 1, 2 to the negative first means 1 over 2. You do the reciprocal. 2 to the 0 is just 1. Remember that? Anything to the 0 is 1 except for 0. 0 to the 0 is what? Zero. Nope. It's undefined. And what happens if I plug in 1? What do you get? If I plug in 2, what do you get? I know you didn't just do that. I know you did not. I get 4. If I plug in 3, I get 8. So you see what's going on here, right? What's, how does if you multiply 1 half times 2? What do you get? 1 times 2 is 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8, 16, 32, and so on. Why does it keep being multiplied times 2? Because your base is 2. If I had 3 to the x, don't you think it would be a little bit different? It would go from 1 to 3 to 9 to 27 to 81 and so on. But you're basically saying y equals 2 to the variable. 2 to the x. 2 yeah. to the x. So, I mean, you're saying y equals a number. So it's just going to be a horizontal line wherever it crosses the y-intercept, isn't it? No, 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 no. No. Uh, plot these points. Let's see what happens. If I plug it, if, if I look at negative 1, 1 half, here's negative 1, 1 half. Here's 0, 1, 1, 2. 2, 4, 3, 8. Right? So where? Okay. There's no horizontal line here for the... Or maybe I didn't understand. You said a horizontal line. Well, I mean, you're saying y equals yeah. 2 to the x. Yes. Okay. 2 to the x. x has to be something at some point, right? X is at a... Some x, uh, at x some time frame, I mean. X is a variable, just like if I have Y equals X I squared. I understand that, but we're saying X equals negative 1. Okay, if I plug so in negative that, 1. What we get is Y equals 1 half, right? Right, so the, y, like the Y coordinate is 1 half. The Y coordinate, okay. And if I did X equals negative 2, that would give me 2 to the negative 2, which is just 1 over 2 squared, and I get 1 fourth. So you see what's going to happen here is that the larger the negative exponents are, the closer I'll get to what? X. To the x-axis. So if I keep going like negative 3, I'd get, neg I'd get 1 8th, 1 16th, 1 32nd, 1 64th, 1 1 28th. I'm getting closer and closer and closer and closer to 0. Will I get there? Mm -hmm. No. So that lets me know that I have a, guess what? What will be 1 to 1? But I'm going to have a horizontal asymptote here. I said I can get as close to zero as I want to, but I will not be able to actually touch that. So you're really flat oh, here. Why, Why not? Because you're a hater. I am. <laughs> so we're going to have a graph that looks like this. Now you may say, wait a minute, on the right side it doesn't approach your horizontal asymptote. That's okay. An asymptote is just what happens as you go out in one direction, you start to approach a particular value. So as I go out to the left, I'm going to start approaching y equals 0. You with me on that? Now, if I look at this and I look at my picture, I want you guys to tell me what is your domain? 
what is the set of x values that I can plug into this expression? All real. It's all real numbers. Okay. Then what is your range? Zero bracket, or so parentheses zero to infinity. Now is it parentheses or bracket on the zero? Please, doesn't even touch the zero. zero. It has to be a parentheses. Exactly. Just what you said. Since it does not touch or include zero, it's going to be parentheses. And this guy's going all the way up to infinity, right? Now you may s be kind of concerned, like maybe it's not all real numbers. It will keep going all the way out here. It's just you can't see that because of the steepness that it takes on right here. You guys with me on that? Now, we did say that it has a horizontal asymptote. And what is that horizontal asymptote? Don't just say 0. It's y equals 0. You guys with me on that? These are the key points that you need to know right here. Okay. So your key points, let me list these out for you. This is going to be true for any for any of these uh, exponential functions. Your key points will be negative 1, 1 over a, where a, of course, is your base. <coughs> Bless you. So if you plug in negative 1 in, you're going to get the reciprocal, 1 over a. Your other key points would be 0, 1, and 1, comma, a. You plug in 0, anything to the 0 is 1, except, of course, for 0 itself but we're not having <coughs> exponential functions with a base of anything less, or including zero or less than that. If I plug in one, of course, I'm just going to get the base itself. So a to the first is just a. These are the key points that we need to know about any of these uh, exponential functions. <coughs>